Breaking Bad meets a secret bunker builder. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Basement, a game that uh, I just got access to, and it's been out for a little while, but I'm going to take my first look here at what is a relatively new game where you can build an underground uh, empire selling uh, candy. Yeah, that's right, candy, all sorts of different illegal sweets. So let's go ahead and play. There's a sandbox mode for the game, but also a story mode, so we're going to take a look at that today. And if you guys want to see a full playthrough on sandbox or of the campaign, make sure you click tap below up and destroy that like button to let me know you want to see more. And welcome again to all the new subscribers. You guys are the greatest community on YouTube, so thanks again for all your support. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, let's see. Gunther arrives at his old uncle's garage. Okay, that's going to be the beginning mission for us. So let's jump into it then and see what it's all about. Oh, obviously looking like Walter White right now. Hmm. Uh, press for next, hold to skip. So we're going through the story right now. That night, Gunther got an idea. He'll make a legendary computer game and get rich. All he needed was money for developing it, and he needed an investor. Oh, is this EA's headquarters? Nice. Okay, I guess it didn't work out. <laughs> Bad game detected. But Gunther's game was very different from what investors like to invest in. Gunther wo uh, woke up on the wet pavement outside of an entrance to the investment center. Wow, it's looking rough. Yeah, that looks like EA's headquarters. Gunther was very upset and called his only friend, his dealer, Kenny. He needed to buy some grass. Oh. He must run a lawnmower service or something then. Thanks, Kenny. That's nice of you. Uh, Mary Jane whispered into his ear, go into business with Kenny and earn enough money to make that game. Kenny agreed. If Gunther could find a place for their lab. Oh, cool. Oh, why is he crying? Huh. Wow, this is weird. Damn. I guess we could set up in my old uncle's garage. Ah, there we are. Our first level, then. Old uncle's garage. Uh, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of... Okay. Hold on. Also, I think the audio has changed itself back to wherever it was before. Hold on. There we go. That needs to be updated so it doesn't do that. Uh, click here to understand more. Uh, your people are... Wait, so much is happening. What's going on? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, this is my first day. Would you please slow down? Oh my goodness. All right, there's so much to this tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and shrink that down. Uh, here it is, my uh, old uncle's garage. Cool. I should give Kenny a call. Hey, Kenny, come over. I got something to show you. Okay, I'm on my way. Nice. Uh, your people are going to go to old uncle's garage squad size one. I have no idea what's going on. Em empty room, okay. Oh, there's Kenny. Well, come on, what do you think? I guess we'll learn as we go. Hmm, not bad. Nice place. So you're in. Hell yeah. Okay. Then remember, the first rule of this business is there are no rules. And most importantly, don't die. What are you writing down in that notebook? Uh, the most important thing is Gunther must not die. The second most important thing is Kenny must not die. Okay, we're doing this. Once we got some goods, we're going to need a sales room. We'll set things up in the sales room so we'll be able to sell our stuff. And remember, the sales room has to be located above ground. Okay. I guess here with the nice window for the authorities to look in, that'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, green room. Customer 7, fridgeability 1.2, power 0. Uh, we're dealer sling and cash is king, entry level. Employee required and can be built above ground only. Okay. I guess we'll build that. Not bad, that'll do. Now all we need is some goods, and we're in business. Let me show you how to make some stuff. We'll grow. Uh, we'll use a grow box to make some goods, but it won't work without electricity. So first we'll have to put in a generator. Our uncle's going to be okay with this? I mean, he's got like a garage, but he's alright with us putting that there? Okay. Uh, alright, so let's build a room here. Uh, generator room. Let's actually put that on the other side. There we go. Cool. Power's on. Now we can put in a grow box. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's our room shop grow box. There it is. Okay. 
There's the price, power usage, etc., etc. Okay, I guess we'll get more into this later. So we're also going to need a storage room. Damn, this place is a mess. You're going to need to clean this place out. Throw out all this junk. Why throw it out? I bet we can make some money selling it. Not a bad idea. I'm going to say no to a little extra scratch. That's business. Uh, so sell this rubbish. Okay. And let's build a... Uh, oh, I guess i got to sell more stuff. Not bad. Finally got some room in here. Grow box is going to push out a lot of goods, and we're going to need somewhere to put them, right? That's why we need a storage room. Closer to the storage room, to the grow box, the less likely we'll have to run back and forth, and the faster we'll be able to produce goods. Okay. So let's build the storage room here, then. Nice. Sweet! Now we can make some stuff. Go over to the grow box and make a little green. Okay. Uh, Kenny, can you go over there? Ah, there we go. Good. Good. Excellent. Who is this? There's random people walking in here. Ah, there we go. Our first product. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're starting to make some money. I just want to see real quick if there's an option to like change the 1920 by 1080. It seems a little squished. Like some of the menus go off the screen, but okay. Okay, so we're selling um, lettuce to the people. We're the uh, town's only, uh, you know, garden and whatnot. People want fresh produce, and so I guess it's the only way to get them. So that's cool. I guess we got to do business for a while until we reach a certain goal. Three out of five. Okay, so it looks like become a grower and produce some stuff. Got it. Uh, click to learn to walk. We've already done that. Uh, let's see. Regional room, rational room layout, highest efficiency. Well, so far it's pretty good. We've got ourselves a storage room, sales room, and our grow box. Can we dig out any more? Uh, it doesn't look like we can grow anything out. We're just learning the tutorial right now. There's our fifth sale. Should be it. There we go. Making stuff is hard work. You're going to get tired and going to slow down. To stay productive, you'll need to have a break room. Just throw a couch somewhere and have a smoke break and you get your strength back. Okay, uh, let's build it there. Guther, it looks like we're sold out. One of us needs to keep producing the new product while the other one sells it. We're going to need to work smart to keep things moving. Hmm. Okay, let's do a uh, restroom. Okay. Cool. Now we got everything for doing business. Excellent. I see you've already figured out how to make sales. Ching a ching ching. Keep it up. Uh, sure. It's not too hard. Easy money. All right. We're gonna need to start earning for real. How much do you need to start your project? Uh, well, the more the better. All right. Let's fill your pockets till they bust. All right. Uh, so now we gotta get a thousand dollars. Okay. So he's taking a break, I guess. Kenny's back to work. Nice. Okay, we need to take a little break. Come on up here, Gunther. I like this game so far. Underground building and stuff. It's nice. Uh, I've zoomed into scale, too. I wonder if I can zoom out any further. Here's how the scale usually looks. I thought this was a little harder to see. But, uh, actually, I would be, I, I'd like to be able to zoom in and out at any time that I wanted to. It'd be nice to be able to scroll in to see the details and then scroll out to... Is there a hobo in that dumpster? Okay. Well, we've almost got enough cash. We're at 850 on day four. Apparently this guy's getting hit points from that. Nice. We're going to need some more employees, though. We've got a lot of people waiting outside. We've got a lot of uh, potential here to grow, literally. <laughs> you see what I did there, guys? Thank you. That's right. Thank you very much. Business is going pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's not a, even a word for it. Got my pockets jammed full of money. There's no place left to put it. Yeah, you can't just keep shoveling more bills into your pockets. Tell you what we need. A proper storage room to keep the cash. All right, where are we going to put it? There's no more room. Now you're right. The basement is pretty small. You'll need to expand it. Dig a few more rooms. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dig a few more rooms in the basement. Three. Okay. One, two, three. Got it. Well, just like that, the basement is looking sweet. Now we need to build a money storage. That'll be a good place to stash another 3,000. Okay. Build a money room. Cash warehouse is what it's called. Wow, that's exactly what we needed. Now we got a place to store money. I bet it'll come rolling in. Wow, so that's why we've been in such a bum, bum all my life. All I needed was a warehouse full of money. Cool, I'm glad everything's working out. Okay, let's zoom in again. I want to see some more of the details in this. And boom. There we go. Nice. Well, unfortunately, I can't scroll back and forth, though. That's a little weird. 
Controls are a little strange with that, but it's all good, I guess. Okay, so now we got to make $1,100. And then we should be able to store all the cash here. Kenny, are you on break again? Jeez, I'm down here working all the time. Stamina's at one. we gotta get got to get back up there and take a break. Okay, one more sale and we're good. So we can take a little break. Too bad we can't have a break room underneath. Oh, there's just people coming in all over. All right, Gunther's going back to work. Kenny's making the last deal, and we're good. Kicking ass, Gunther. But you want to kick this into higher gear, we should run two stores of the same grow box. Right now we're producing faster than we can manage to sell. We'll be making a killing if we get another store. But who's going to work at it? There's only two of us. Good point. We need another dealer. Workers always need a place to throw their stuff. We'll need to have a locker room. Okay, let's build a locker room. Staff plus two. Nice. Okay, so now we can hire two people. Excellent. Looks like the locker room is big enough for two employees. Well, we already have two, but if we upgrade the locker room, I bet we can hire a third employee. Ah, okay, so now we can do upgrades. That'll cost us a little bit of cash. 125. Extra space for personal items. Allow you to hire an additional employee or hide an old one. Dot, dot, dot. What? Are you telling me we can get all shady in the chocolate business? Now, just like that, we're going to hire another dealer. It's easy to spot dealers. They usually wear purple hoodies. Are they Twitch streamers? Are you a purple hoodie lady, ma'am? No? Better zoom out again. I don't like the zoom in, zoom out system. I just want to be able to do it whenever. All right. Purple hoodies. I thought she was one, but... Oh, wait. We can hire here. Oh, there we are. Roberto. I thought we had to find him on the mini uh, on the map. Uh, let's see. $36 a day. Apparently, he can cause damage. Oh, he's like a bouncer, too. All right. Let's hire him. That's all we can hire for now. Yo, dealer, you're hired. We're going to sell some beautiful product together. Look, Gunther, different workers have different characteristics. Judging by this guy's resume, he has a high endurance rating, which will definitely help him deal. But on the other hand, his health is pretty weak. He's not going to be a good fighter if it comes to that. There's one important thing. I won't believe it, but workers are going to want wages. We'll need to pay them at the beginning of each day. And what if we don't pay on time? Well, I'll probably quit or worse po at the possible moment. It's better to we don't even get into that. Okay, we need to make another sales room. Okay. Uh, can we make this a sales room? Well, a sales room can only be above ground. Uh, we don't have any more space up top for another sales room. Yeah, you're right. We'll need to set things up differently. Uh, let's sell the couch to make room for another store. And then we can put the couch in the basement. Okay, let's do that. Sell for 62 bucks. We'll put the couch there. Just like that, we can set up a second sales room. Okay, you got it. So we'll do uh, sales room here. Now, put a coach in the basement. You deserve a break. Good idea. We'll put it next to the uh, lockers. Perfect spot. Uh, oh, there it is. Took a second to appear. There we go. Awesome. Now we have two sales rooms. Now, put our new dealer in the second sales room. We can double our sales. I don't even feel like we're making enough product yet, but... Uh, okay, where's he? You work there. Cool. All right. Sofa's closer to the grow by... Oh! Now, now that the sofa is closer to the grow box, production will grow a little faster. That's true. He doesn't have to walk too far anymore. He doesn't have to go upstairs. So that may save some time. Unless Kenny goes on break. I like how the customers can just walk right by. Like, they, like they're not tempted to steal anything. I like this so far. This is actually quite interesting. It's really giving me Mr. Prepper vibes. We've played that before on the channel, too. So if you like these whole bunker building simulators, this certainly feels like it. Because I feel like eventually we're going to sell something other than just this uh, minor product, for example. Uh, let's see. Put the new dealer in the second sales room and get a few packs of green. Okay, so we just need to make four sales and then we're good. And we're done. Uh-oh. What's going on over here? Listen, Gunther. There's a drugstore nearby and I heard that's the only. there's only two guards there. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? Let's rob the place. I'm sure we'll be able to find something there we can sell. Oh, I see you where you're going with this, but I'm not much of a fighter, you know. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting either, but you remember the most important thing... To hire the right person for the job. So what do you say? Well, I don't know. Sounds a little scary. Yeah, keep your panties dry, man. I've done this a thousand times. We have one employee, but he's not much of a fighter. First, let's fire him. Then we'd have a spot cleared up for the locker room. Oh. What? He was but only working a day. He did fine. He didn't... Roberto's a... Oh, sorry, Roberto. I guess we just need somebody who's a little bit more of a fighter. Have a good day. Cool. I'm starting to feel like a real boss. Yeah, cool. Now we're going to need to hire a decent fighter. You could easily see who's a fighter. They always like to wear red t-shirts. Oh, okay. So back to the hire option. 
Teresa. Nice. How do we tell if she's a fo oh 6.7. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That 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 right there. That That's a lot of damage. That is. Okay, let's hire her. Cool. Save done. That's it. This fighter will do nicely. What do you want me to do, boss? Uh, we need you to beat up two guards at the drugstore. You think you can handle it? Piece of cake. Just point me in their direction. Uh, over there. Uh, to move between buildings, you need to press two buttons. Click one of them to find out... Uh, click on one of them to find out where the other is. You mean this? Uh, relocation. Uh, let's see if we can put her there. Wait, can I just send her over there? Oh, she can't leave the building. Send your fighter to the drugstore. Right, how do we do that? Oh, we also have an upgrade available to lockers. <gasps> Let's hire another... Uh, uh, can't delete, there won't be enough space. Oh, I didn't want to sell, I wanted to upgrade. There we go. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem like it lets me upgrade any further. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get back to it. How do we sell? How do we send her off? I can't send her anywhere. Hmm. Let's see. Send your fighter to the drugstore. To move between buildings, you need to click two buttons. Click on one of them to find out which is second? Question mark. What the hell? Uh, the level will scroll to the left and right. Oh, now I can do it with the arrow keys. There we go. It didn't let me do it before. Ah, that's why I couldn't figure it out. Okay. Well, we got it now. Let's go ahead and attack. Uh, if you could do that, ma'am. How do we send her? There we go. To attack. Perfect. Yeah, I want to be able to zoom in and stuff. At least I can scroll now. That makes things a little easier to see. Looks like she's getting into a van. Let's take a look at this close up. There, now we can scroll. Get him, girl! Hell yeah. There you go. We've seized the drugstore. The fighter did great. Guess we're done with them now, though. Let's fire them or they'll just stand around collecting salary. Oh, we better hire a dealer instead. Otherwise, we've got on-man sales room. Jeez, okay. A lot of hiring and firing. Can't we just hire multiple people? They seem both very useful. Uh, let's hire again. Dalton, you're back. Nice. Okay, we're ready to sell at full speed, and we also seize the drugstore. Now we need to move all that green from the drugstore to our basement as quickly as possible. The owners won't be able to say stuff. Uh, to move the goods, we'll need to transport. Transports can be hired in the garage. Cool. Why are all these people in my garage? What are you people doing in there? Oh, there's the garage. Let's buy a transport. We'll hire somebody to move it via uh, the little moped. Just like that, now our delivery guy will distribute the goods to buildings with sales rooms. Right now, we have two buildings, and both of them have sales rooms. So in this situation, the delivery guy will keep our goods equally stocked from both sales rooms. Uh, we need to sell the sales room drugstore, and the delivery guy will move the product back to our garage. Okay, that seems easy enough. So the sales rooms are here. Can we just sell all this stuff? Exactly. Now the delivery guy will take the goods to our garage. Yeah, but can I sell, like, the break room? Oh, I wanted to, like, see if I can get some extra cash. Okay. So we have a lot of stuff going to be delivered to our place next, but we don't really have anywhere to put it. Stairway generator. Cash warehouse down there. Oh, there he goes. He's bringing stuff back and forth. Oh, we need to get the other guy uh, to work. Oh, no, they're both working. Kenny's there and Dalton is working there. Okay, good. 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 Is this a huge line outside my store? This is crazy. Ah, wait, there's a third store over here. Uh, food store, pet food store or something? Okay, weird. All right, what's the next goal? Let's see. Um, move the goods from the pharmacy back to the garage. So it looks like we just need him to take a few more trips. I think he's doing one at a time. Damn, look at how slow that guy's moves. I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, well, you can always speed. Speed? Yeah, you can speed up the, the moped just, uh... Wait, do what now? Are you just telling me to speed up the speed of the game? On the other hand, you'll need to be careful when you speed. You can miss something important or accidentally die. Are you telling me just to tell this guy to speed? Oh, yeah, just speed up the game. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I thought he was telling me to, like, pay the guy extra or something to go faster. Okay, well, a few more deliveries then. Three more to go precisely. So that's one, two, and then the last one, three. There we go. Cool. We got all the goods from the drugstore. You see, Gunther, you don't have to produce goods. I told you, keep your panties dry. Everything's under control. Now, we need to sell all this green. 
and you'll have plenty of money to start your project. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot we were getting into this for gaming. Yeah, so we can make some actual money. Yes. And then we'll sell loot boxes, the ultimate drug. Yes, soon. Soon. All right, let's see. Sell all the green and Gunther will be able to fund his project. Oh, I don't think it's going to be this easy. Doesn't look like there's any more rooms I can have, though. Uh, green. Wait. Oh, Kenny, look. Someone's going to the drugstore. What if it's the owner? Relax. Don't lose your cool. We already got the goods. Now we can just sit back and watch. Oh, yeah. Let's watch. Well, there's a lot of dogs around the drugstore. Uh-oh. Is that security? Uh, green is going to the drugstore squad size one. Oh. There it is, that truck there. Looks like they're looking around for their stuff. Oh, they're going to be mad. Green has captured the building. Their income increased. Where the heck is my green? There's nothing here. I've been robbed. Oh, these dudes, those dumb head men. If I find out who did this, I'll kill these people. Wow, really? Damn, Kenny, who is that? Uh, he's the leader of the local green lizard game. His name is Miguel. Gangs? Damn, Kenny. Did we just rob the Mafia? Oh, don't sweat it. I told you. I've done this thousands of times. Now let's go buy some potato chips. Oh, we are going to get jumped. Uh-oh. Breaking news! Uh-oh. There's the van. Unknown persons robbed the local pharmacy. The, lo uh, the local people, especially the elderly, suffered from a shortage of medication. Damn, man. These are some good chips. Uh, next level, I guess? Next level of evil. Well, the game has to do that every time? Uh, Gunther shouldn't die, Kenny shouldn't die, but maybe they will. Uh, damn, Kenny. This is great, we just blew our money on chips. All we have left now is 200 bucks. Don't worry, we'll get some more. What? We have thousands of dollars. Uh, make $7,000. Uh oh. Tupo's base. So that's the red gang, and the drugstore is the green gang. Uh-oh, there's quite a few people there. Oh, there's blue, too. I see all these other colors now. Or an empty building, maybe. Neutral, maybe? Miguel's office. Whoa, he's got, like, prisons and stuff? It's a little dark to see. Why is this game so dark like this? That's unnecessary, but whatever. I guess it's enemy territory. Okay, uh, so let's do our... Let's get to business. Uh, can you come down here? Wait, why is our... Uh, wait, our office changed. They moved some of my stuff around. That's weird. Wasn't our break room down here before? Maybe we could do another grow, grow building? Yeah, let me see if I can hire another uh, dealer or whatever. I mean, uh, planter or something. Can we upgrade this again? Uh, it doesn't look like I can upgrade it again. Well, let's get our storage up. Can you work on this? There we go. We'll have Kenny stay here and work on sales. Let's get our uh, storage up a bit. Looks like we have five to start with. We can put everybody on sales. After a little bit. No one's coming to us, though. Oh, actually, we made $14. Maybe we found that on the ground. Okay, people are coming over now. So we're going to hire a fighter to go raid the drugstore, though it's uh, packed with four people, so that's too many for us to do anything with. Good. Good. Now we have seven. Excellent. Oh yeah, we're paying that guy $36 a day, so we'll need to get a little faster on that. Alright, you head back upstairs. Good. Good. Okay, so now both of them can start selling. We just need to wait for the customers to come in. Three out of three. I can't up upgrade the uh, employee warehouse, unfortunately. Extra space for personal items. Yeah, it doesn't let me upgrade. Can't dig out anymore. Red is going to Old Uncle's Garage. Squad size one. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming to rob us. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens. What's happening, boys? And what you got slinging? You selling a little green? Oh, well, yeah. What do you want? The fact is, you're only cheesing... 
uh, you're on my cheesing territory. You're going to need to pay me some kickback if you want your keep your crackers. Any questions? Um, don't worry, no one's going to get crumbled. Just pay me $420 every two days, and you better be sure you got it when I come by. And your first payment starts right now. Show me the money. But, uh, uh, what did you say? You want me to snip off your little cheese balls? Uh, no. All right, here's your 420 bucks. That's more like it. Now, you better be sure you got the next payment when I come back. Keep cracking. Oh, great. Now we're paying protection money to a gang. Wonderful. Jeez, dude, this is this is horrible. No kidding. We need to do something and do it quick. Got any ideas, Superseller? I got it. We need a second base, one that Tupo doesn't know about. There's an old computer club nearby. We can make another base move in there. That's the plan. We'll keep paying that jerk for now so he doesn't finish us off. Meanwhile, we'll set up base at the old computer club. We'll equip the new base when everything's ready and tear this place down and he'll never find us. You think it'll be that easy? My little cheese balls are telling me that's a bad idea. Ah, it'll be fine. I've done this a thousand times. By the way, it goes without saying that we shouldn't uh, try to move into buildings controlled by gangs. They'll wipe the floor with us. We should try to avoid them. Alright, but there's a bunch of people at the computer store. How do we just, like, casually move in there? Oh, we need money for Tupo. Take over the old computer club and set up a new lab. Okay, I guess we're moving into the basement. Uh, hmm. Drugstore. Old computer club. So how exactly do we move in here? Apparently we can sell stuff? Can't delete. This building does not belong to you. So I guess we gotta hire a fighter to kill those guys? Why would we want to do that? Okay. Well, let's try that. Let's fire this guy. Hire somebody new. We want somebody who's a fighter. Damage six. Philip, we're hiring you. Nice. Okay. Now let's send you out. Uh, consumable. Oh, we need to wait till he's in this area first. Then we can send him. Oh, wait, I forget. I forget how to go to, like, the next area. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's send Philip. Oh, the screen's too big again. This game's got a weird thing. That scale needs to be fixed. I want to be able to zoom in. Okay, let's send Philip to attack the other station. Old computer club. Go. Uh, select characters first. Uh, Philip, please. Oh, there we go. Okay, now he's on his way. That took a minute. I think he's in the van. Okay, we have enough money for Tupo again. Are we really gonna just, like, do this to these people? Uh-oh, this is gonna get bad. Oh, boy. Why are we fighting a bunch of computer nerds? What? <laughs> he got he got wiped out by a bunch of nerds. Rightfully so, though. How do, why do we have to like physically do that? Why can't we just like buy the building? All right, let's send Clint now. I guess we'll just have to keep doing this until we get through. Okay, there he is. Zoom out again. I can only hire one more person, too. I can't, uh... Let's go back to the club. I can't hire more than one at a time. Doesn't look... I don't know if there's a way to buy weapons for them, too. We're kind of at the basic start here, so there's not much I can do. Maybe I can have another locker room? Let's sell that one. Let's see if we can ha have another locker room. Oh, we can! That's a good idea. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Tracy, Kelvin. Good, good. All right, I think our worker died again. Okay, Red is back. They want their money. Uh-oh, we don't have it. Uh, let's see. All right, what's cracking? You got my money? Uh, this time there's not going to be any money. Look out, it's about to go down. I can just keep hiring people. Can you guys fight them? Wait, what? 
Oh, it's loaded checkpoint. Oh my god. Why, there's some quirkiness with this game. The zoom and the sound. I don't know why it does that, but that's weird. Okay, so I got it this time. So all we gotta do is just basically sell this other room. And then we just fire this guy. Donald. How do we fire him? Donald, can you... Leave? Okay, apparently I can't fire him, but let's get another locker room. And then we'll just buy, buy more than one guard at a time. So let's, uh... I guess we're locked into the cutscene where, uh... What's his name supposed to come over as soon as we get 400 and whatever dollars? Okay. Well, I like this game so far. It's kind of just... It's hard to read some things, though, as you have to zoom in, but I want to play it some more. If you guys like this one, make sure you click... Clap that like button. Let me know you want to see more. Welcome again to all the new subscribers. I want to go on to the next one. Keep building this bunker. See what lies in store. We'll jump ahead and uh, pick up by taking over the computer lab in the next episode if you want to see more. Thanks again for the support. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.